my rose she's very special she you know she's a living miracle you know I almost lost her and her mother you know when she when her mother was giving birth to her you know that was a turning point of my life that I thought I was gonna lose her you know and her mother then when my daughter was about week eight week years eight weeks old um, we used to live in the Bronx and um, there was we used to live in the 25th floor and there was a big fire in the fifth floor for the smoke one more thinking about losing my daughter on that fire you know all the smoke going in there because it came all the way from the fifth floor all the way to the 25th floor then it came we, we, we was hiding in the bathroom and the smoke started going in the bathroom. And at that time, and I, I believe it's a miracle that um, the fire, one of the firemen came and took us straight to the roof. And then um, also, you know, when she was about one years old, she had a, a asthma attack. Um, that, that really scared me, you know. Um, also, she was born with a little tumor in her chest. And, you know, all these things just make me think of how this little girl is a miracle. You know, I believe that God made this little girl for me, uh, brought her into my life also to protect her because I believe this girl is special. Very, 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 very special. You know, about two years ago, she also got diagnosed with autism stage two you know not a bad stage of autism but it's still autism and you know I have heard people um make um you know ignorant comments about kids with autism <clears throat> and you know autism is just you know it's not a disease it's just a condition and these kids with autism are more smarter than many of us are you know so a lot of people don't understand it so you know, they just make ignorant comments, and and if you watching this, and you one of those guys that made um, bad comments about any kid with conditions, you know, you ignorant. You know, you should sit down and learn, because today, today could be me. You know, today could be my daughter. Today could be your kid. I hope it never happens, but you know, think about that. These kids are just special. They just need um special attention. Um. Also, you know, like, this little girl right here is so, so, so smart. As you can see, she plays, you know, she plays a lot by herself. And she learns a lot. She learns a lot by watching. And a lot of people ask me, now, mechanic, why you always were your daughter? Where is the mother? First of all, you only see me with her during the weekends and sometimes when I get out of work. When I get her out of work, and um, and I spend a lot of time with my daughter. Like I said, I believe she's a living miracle. Um, and her mother's a good mother. You never see her mother, but her mother's a good mother. You know, um, I have to teach my daughter about death. I have to teach her about life. I have to teach her about losing. You know, she just lost her grandpa about two weeks ago. I tried to hide it from her, but there was no hiding. There was no hiding from it because one day she had my phone and she looked at the picture and she knew something was wrong. So I had to sit down with her and explain to her the about life and death. It is hard, you know, being a dad and trying to raise a little girl, you know, about, you know, yesterday we had a competition, not, not a competition, a free giveaway they had in YouTube. And, you know, I had to tell her, teach her about winning and losing. I had to teach her both sides of it because, you know, she's not always going to win. But I just want her to know that she's always the winner in whatever she do. And she does, and, you know, and she does her best that she's always a winner no matter what no matter what comes her way she's always a winner 
you know, <laughs> people always ask me also why, you know, I never see you, not a mechanic, I never see you with a, with a female, you know, after I separated from my wife, I decided that, um, that I was going to stay single until my daughter grows up. Yes, I, I have been single for two years, um, two years I have been single. And believe it, um, my mission right now is just raising my little daughter, raising my little Rose right here. You know, when the time comes for me to have a female, to have a companion, it will come. But right now, I believe in my heart that, you know, this girl right here has a special purpose in life. And I don't know what it is, but it's my duty to protect her, to guide her. And let her find her own, her own way, you know, let her find her own, you know, direction in life. But for, right now, as a being a dad, I'll stay single, you know. I will have great communication with her mother. Me and her mother have great communication. She is a good mother. She, she, she raises her very well, you know, she keeps my daughter active. She keeps her clean. She feeds my daughter, and that right there is just special. Well, I know your next question is going to be why you and her separated. Well, it was not her. It was me. I was a knucklehead, and for being a knucklehead, I lost a good woman. You know, us guys can be, you know, sometimes um, too demanding, and I lost a good woman. She is a good woman. Um, she's, you know, she's remarried now. Me, I will stay single because I have a mission in life with this little girl of mine right here, Rosalie. Right now she's playing around, but we're about to go to the beach so she can have a good time and try to spend as much time as I can because, you know, seeing my dad, how, how fast, you know, death took him, I know that life is short. And like life is short, I have to spend the most time and precious time with my daughter. And the reason why I'm videotaping this is because, you know, I know a lot of people out there has kids that has autism and people don't understand you. I want you to know that we here in New York, we understand the meaning of autism, you know, what you have to go through. Um, a lot of people don't understand, but we understand. You know, she may not have the, 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 the higher condition that your kid might have, but, you know, my daughter, my daughter, um, she has a, a autism stage two, but, you know, I don't use that as a, as an excuse for the things she does and things that she doesn't do. She's only four years old, and, you know, you, we want you to know that you have our support here in New York. In New York, we, you have our support, and just stay strong, you know, trust in yourself, trust in your ability, you know, trust in your child, you know, and, you know, and hopefully they'll start growing out of it. My daughter is growing out of it. You know, the tumor she had in her chest is gone. Um, There's a lot, of, a lot of things with my daughter. My daughter's a living miracle, and your kid is a living miracle. I just want you to know that, that, that your child is special. Your child is smart. Your child is a unique child. And it came to your life for a reason. And then that reason you may not know right now, but in due time you will know. And the kids will grow and they'll be smarter than anybody in this world. Just keep up the good work with your child. Keep up the good work in everything you do and keep your head up.